Where are all the third party RF lenses? And when will we see what Sigma and Tamron have to offer to compete with the best of Canon RF glass? Let's look into that. Would it surprise you to know that there are approximately 50 RF lenses currently available? I was. The majority of these lenses are non-image stabilised and non-autofocus. This is because it's relatively easy for these companies to make lenses which fit mechanically, but much harder to make them talk to the body. And as yet, no one's reverse engineered the RF mount to be able to give anything approaching acceptable AF or IS. They also tend to come from smaller players like Loa, Samyang, Rokinon, Miki, Seven Artisans, TT Artisans, Kippon, and Zong Yi to name but a few. There's a reason for this. Canon historically are very protective about their lens mounts, and they don't release details of the protocols required to interface with their cameras to anyone. This means that even lenses that claim autofocus compatibility only use the EF protocols, they don't use the full RF capabilities. Canon are likely to have some relationship or unwritten agreements with certain lens manufacturers, but even then, they only share the basics of how to communicate and not the full AF-IS protocol. This is why even big players like Sigma and Tamron struggle with newly released cameras and sometimes even firmware updates render these lenses incompatible or at least give them problems. Even Sigma and Tamron have to rely on back engineering the full protocol compatibility and it's not guaranteed. With regard to RF lenses, even that unwritten tacit agreement doesn't appear to hold up. In fact, any relationship Canon has with Sigma and Tamron will probably mean they're less likely to see them release RF lenses, at least in the short term. This is because Sigma and Tamron will prefer not to upset Canon by directly competing, at least whilst Canon continue to build up their stable of RF lenses. However, we may be nearing a time when this will change. We can be sure that Sigma and Tamron have been busy reverse engineering the RF mount and its electronic protocols. They have a long history of doing good work in this area and it should lead to relative success. But as I pointed out before, it will never be a complete success. Full operational support will always be susceptible to firmware updates and tail behind new camera releases, just as it did with the EF mount. However, there are a couple of reasons for optimism on the horizon. The first is the RED V Raptor ST. RED's new camera has an RF mount built in, so they must have either Canon's approval or they have successfully back engineered it. Also, Yongnu have released an autofocus lens, the YN 85mm 1.8R. It's unclear whether this is using the EF or RF protocol. But given Young Nu appears to have no regard for patent violations, and they've happily offered flash guns and accessories which look almost identical to Canon's offering for years, it wouldn't surprise me if they've already reverse engineered the RF mount. I don't expect Sigma and Tamron to go out of their way to antagonise Canon like this, but it might mean that other smaller players, especially those based in China, might be willing to go down this route. Either way, it shows things are moving in the right direction, though RED's ability to use the RF lenses is quite different from making RF lenses. RED having the RF mount will actually increase RF sales and as such benefit Canon, whereas manufacturing third-party lenses at this stage of the RF mount life might actually harm Canon's RF lens sales. So when will we see Sigma and Tamron enter the market for RF lenses? I would expect to see lenses from Sigma first, and this is because Sony have a significant shareholding in Tamron. It could well be that Sony don't want them to support the RF mount lenses yet, but I would expect them to move on with this as soon as Sigma enter the fray. 
I don't expect this until Tan and RF Lens catalog is better fleshed out. So for a little while longer, those of you lucky enough to have the EF to RF mount adapter can enjoy your existing Sigma or Tamron big zoom or wide angle lens. But the future of third party lenses is that bit closer now that RED have released the V-Raptor ST. Why not try this video next which YouTube thinks might interest you or perhaps this one might suit you better. And thanks for watching Rumour Has It. I hope you'll be back soon.